Hello, kids. Hello. My name is Jablane. I've been asked by Willie to stand in for him. Why? Where is he gone? He's gone on his holidays to Shushue in Folose Park. He told me of your magic rhino badges and also your love for nature. Yes, we are the children of the wilderness. I want to tell you about the most famous hippo who ever lived in South Africa in 1928. Her name was Jupiter. One day, she took a long, long walk to Kaiskama River in the Eastern Cape. Why did she go on the long walk? Sometimes when it's dry, hippos walk long distances looking for water. He better walk a long way and then he forgot to stop. When she arrived at a town called Eneli in the south coast, the Hindus made her a goddess. A goddess? Yes, the Hindu people made her the protector of the poor. Some Zulu people thought that the spirit of King Shaga has returned. And some of the Kosas thought that the spirit of the great chief Sandile or Hinza has returned. She better was famous. Yes, she was called the South Africa's national pet. Some overseas people got to know about her. But then, oh dear. What? Something bad happened to her. Tell us. Not now. Let's get to Salusha to see hippos. When we come back, I will tell you what happened. Aww. Press your magic rhino pages. Say hippo, hippo, hippo. Hippo, hippo, hippo. We are the children. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Madisi. Welcome to St. Lucie Estuary. Come aboard the St. Lucia boat and we'll take you up the estuary and show you where you're going. Look, there's a raft of hippos. See the babies? Yes. Right in the middle, how they gather around to protect the babies in the center of the group. Because they don't like crocodiles. Look, 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 look. How come you can't see their teeth? Did you see the teeth when he opened his mouth a little bit? No. The little one won't have teeth as big as the, the others. Is he still a baby? They're like this small. Tiny. But they get to be about that big. You're joking. I'm not joking. I wish you could touch it. Yeah. That's not advisable. Hippos don't eat people, but they are responsible for a lot of human deaths in Africa. They are a very, very aggressive animal, and they are very dangerous. over territory. You saw that one crocodile was much larger than the other one. It was clear that that crocodile was in his territory. That is why he was so aggressive. Look over there. See the hippos? Yes. Remember, hippos cannot float or swim, so they're all lying on their bellies. See how shallow it is. Isn't the water very salty? Yes, especially now with the drought, but the more shallower it becomes, the higher the salt content becomes. Why does it go salty? Remember, none of the rivers that normally flow into the lake is flowing at the moment, and it's been dry for many years. So there's no fresh water coming into the lake like there's supposed to be. And that is also why the estuary is closed at the moment. If we only had ocean water coming into the lake, with no fresh water from the rivers, it will mean when the water evaporates, it's the salt that stays behind, and it's the salt that's actually going to make the damage for us in this area. What about the crocodiles? Well, the crocodiles are all right in the salt water. They have special salt glands that helps them to survive in saline water, and they're all still nice and fat, so there's still enough fish for them to eat. Are the fresh water fish or salt fish? Only salt fish, only fish from the ocean. Freshwater fish will not survive in salt water. Too. I 
haven't forgotten. We want to know. You better reach the river and walk along the stream. Something terrible happened to her. Don't stop. Tell us. Two farmers with guns came along and saw her and they shot her. That's terrible. People also know about it. Even the parliament know about it and they find them. How much? 50 rand fine. That's nothing. During that time, that was a lot. But although it was a lot, it couldn't raise Hubota. What a sad story. You can still see Hubota in the Amatole Museum in the Eastern Cape. I know the Amatole Museum. It's in King William's town. Yes, they sing a song about her. Thank you, baby. Best prize the nation. You better the best.